In today's episode, we are going to make our own accident detection unit which can be easily fitted inside the dashboard or bonnet of the car. This accident detection unit will consist of number one limit switches, number two GSM module SIM 900A or SIM 900D, number three GPS module Neo 6M, number four five volt adopter, number five some jumper wires, number six a registered SIM card for sending messages. In this project, limit switches will be used to sense if the car is hit by another car or wall etc. This is a limit switch and I have already soldered some wires for the easy interfacing with Arduino Uno. This limit switch has three contacts, common, normally closed and normally open, which can be easily found by using a digital multimeter. Turn on a digital multimeter, set it on continuity and check if you can hear the beep sound. Connect one test lead of the digital multimeter with common and another test lead with one of the contacts to find which one is normally closed and which one is normally open. No sound means open contact and sound means closed contact. This is the GSM module in market we have different types of GSM modules. The one I will be using today is SIM 900A. If you want you can also use SIM 900D. The same code is also tested using SIM 900D but with a different baud rate. The rest of the program remains the same. If you are from Pakistan or India make sure you purchase the unlocked version of the SIM 900A. This GSM SIM900A module as you can see on the screen has no onboard voltage regulator so be careful while applying the voltage. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volt but you can also connect it with 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter then you can make your own power supply using LN317 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM317 explaining everything so do watch this tutorial. As you can see in the picture we have so many pins which are labeled but we will be using only 5 of these pins. The power supply pins, ground, RXT 5V and TXT 5V. The ground will be connected with the Arduino ground, TXT will be connected with the Arduino pin 7 and RXT will be connected with the Arduino pin 8. This is the Neo 6M GPS module that we are gonna be using today in this episode. This GPS module can be interfaced with the Arduino using VCC, RX, TX and ground. In order to interface this module with Arduino we will need to solder 4 wires. Apply some solder to the red wire and then solder this wire with VCC of the GPS module. Then take another wire, apply some solder and then solder it with RX of the GPS module. Similarly take a third wire, apply some solder and then solder it with RX of the GPS module. And then finally take a fourth wire, apply some solder and then solder it with ground of the GPS module. After the soldering is completed, before powering up the GPS module first check the short circuit. For this use a digital multimeter, set it on continuity and check all the four wires soldered. As you can hear the beep sound it means that these two wires are short. Use soldering iron to remove the solder bridge and check again with multimeter. No beep means no short circuit and we are good to go. Now we can interface this GPS module with Arduino. This GPS module can be powered up using 3 to 5 volt. I will be using 5 volt and its default baud rate is 9600 which we will be using in the programming. Dimensions helps in calculating the size of the final product. We can use this information to make a plastic enclosure in SolarWorks or any other software. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs then you can watch my tutorials. The Neo 6M GPS and GSM 908 modules interfacing with Arduino is very simple. As you can see in the circuit diagram the VCC of the GPS module is connected with 5 volts. RX will be connected with pin 3 of the Arduino, TX will be connected with pin 2 of the Arduino and ground will be connected with the Arduino ground. 
TX of the SIM 900A is connected with pin 7 of the Arduino, RX of the SIM 900A is connected with pin 8 of the Arduino, and ground is connected with the ground of Arduino. A power supply is connected with SIM 900A. Ideal voltage is 4.7 volt to 5 volt. A limit switch is connected with pin 4 of the Arduino. So when the limit switch is activated, it will give zero. Ground is a signal to the Arduino. This signal means that the car is hit. So my friends, as you can see, all the components are interfaced as per the circuit diagram, which I already explained in very detail. But let me tell you once again that the SIM 900A is connected with pin 7 and 8 of the Arduino. The, the connections are very simple. It's a... Uh, RX pin is connected with pin 8 and its TX pin is connected with pin 7 and uh, the this is the GPS module its uh, RX is connected with pin 3 and uh, the TX is connected with pin 2 of the Arduino and this is the limit switch the common contact is connected with the ground and uh, the normally open contact is connected with pin number 4 so when we press this it will connect with this one and it will give ground as a signal to the Arduino. I will be using a 5 volt supply for the GSM SIM 900 and I will connect a 12 volt adopter with the Arduino you know so my friends this is a program written for the gsm and gps based car accident monitoring system before you start the programming first of all make sure that you download the tiny gps library from github simply copy and paste it into the arduino library folder i have already downloaded this as you can see first we start with the h include software serial dot h as you know my friends that both the GSM 900 a and Neo 6 and GPS module will communicate with the Arduino through serial communication and you know that in Arduino we have only one serial port which is on pin number 0 and pin number 1 as I always say that use uh, Arduino default serial port for debugging purposes so if you are using Arduino's default serial port for the debugging purposes then it means we will be needing two more serial ports for GSM and GPS module so for this purpose we are using software serial library if you want to learn in detail how to use software serial library for making multiple ports then you can watch my tutorial on software serial then we include the hash include tiny GPS plus plus dot H then we add this line for the GPS module static constant integer rx pin equals 2 dx pin equals 3 GPS module is connected with pin 2 and pin 3 of the Arduino as explained in the circuit diagram and interfacing and the GPS baud rate as per the data sheet is 9600 so this is the baud rate as per the data sheet and the tiny GPS++ plus plus object tiny GPS++ plus and GPS the serial connection to the GPS device with a software serial is RX pin, TX pin for GPS. So this is a function as you can see the parentheses, the SS is the name of the function and it's taking two arguments as the input which are the RX pin and the TX pin. Then software serial SIM 900 and pin number 7 and 8 for a GSM module. So GSM module connected with pin number 7 and pin 8 of the Arduino. Then integer sensor is equal to A1 which is the analog pin A1 of the Arduino and a tilt sensor connected here. If you want you can also use a tilt sensor. I'm also providing code for this. So integer LED is equal to 13. Tilt sensor output indication. Then we define a variable of the type string text for SMS. String text for SMS integer limit is equal to 4 which is the limit switch connected over here so as you know my friends that the longitude and latitude values consist of the real and imaginary parts so first of all we will separate the real and imaginary parts and then convert them into a string to make a message that can be sent via sms so string data real string data imaginary string combined and then integer raw as a value then string data real two string data imaginary two and string combined two then we have double longitude and double latitude as you know my friends that uh, every Arduino and mega program has at least two functions and those two functions are the white setup and white loop so we start with a white setup and uh, uh, 
And let me tell you that when we turn on the Arduino or Mega, the white setup function is executed only one time. So we start by activating the serial communication for the GSM module uh, at a baud rate of 19200 and then we begin serial communication at 9600 for sending messages from Arduino to the computer serial monitor for, monitor for the debugging purposes. SS dot begin GPS baud rate which is already defined as 9600 and there is a delay of 10,000 milliseconds which is equal to 10 seconds. So if you don't use this, it won't affect uh, the, the, the programming. Then we send these messages. Then pin mode limit is as input. So is this uh, the switch, the limit switch that we are using is as is an input device. And uh, so that's why it's input and digital write limit is as high. So we keep it uh, high. And pin mode sensor input, uh, which is for the tilt sensor, which is an input device. And pin mode LED, which is an output device and we keep the LED uh, off by default so then we are sending some string messages to the serial monitor for the debugging purposes then we have a message white send SMS and string message this is also a function as you can see the parentheses and uh, white mean that this function is not returning any value and the string message means that it, it takes only one argument as the input and it's of the type string sim 900 dot print 80 plus cmgf equals to once this is the 80 command for selecting the plain text mode and delay 100 then send 900 dot print ln 80 plus cmgs equals to this is the recipient mobile number so this is my contact number if you want you can also send me messages on my whatsapp number and delay 100 sim 900 dot print then this is the message that we want to send and uh, then sim 900 dot print ln character 26 int 80 command with uh, this ASCII code for 26 and uh, then we wait for uh, 5 uh, seconds okay then start the wide loop so integer reading first of all we read the tilt sensor so reading reading is equal to analog read sensor and uh, I have commented uh, these lines and then if reading is greater than 800 so what to do first turn on the LED as in which will be used as an indication and then the display info and then the latitude is equal to the GPS dot location dot latitude function and uh, this six this six is is uh, is the precision like the decimal after the decimal point so how many uh, uh, numbers we want to display three two five or six so then longitude is equal to GPS dot location dot longitude function and six and then for the latitude so so first of all we access the latitude and longitude values and store these in these variables and then we separate the real and imaginary parts using these instructions or here you can see I'm using integer and latitude so from the latitude value it will uh, access only the integer part and that will be stored into the data real now for the imaginary part which is an integer Fahad so you can use any other variable name I'm using my own name is equal to the latitude minus data real so when we minus the data real from the, the latitude we actually get the imaginary part and then we multiply it uh, with, with this number to to to, to remove the, the, the decimal point and then the same for the longitude and then we create a message so text for SMS is equal to longitude colon and then text for SMS dot concatenate data real to and then we put a dot and then the imaginary part and then same we do for the latitude and then we finally add this electronic clinic tilt sensor control section and then send SMS and then we send a message on the desired number and so this sketch displays information every time a new sentence is correctly encoded while SS dot available greater than zero if GPS dot encode SS dot read which is a function display info is called which is a function the purpose of this set of instruction is to check if the wires are connected in a wrong way and uh, okay so now here we monitor the limit switch if digital read limit switch equals equals low so if low means if the limit switch is activated if it's hit then the display uh, info we call a function or display info 
and then we use uh, uh, then the rest of the instruction are exactly the same as explained as over here you can see first of all we are ex accessing the latitude and longitude values and then we are separating the real and imaginary parts and then we are exactly making the same message only difference is over here that now we are adding limit switch one activated so now why display info which is the function so I have already explained this in very detail in my previous tutorial on GPS modules so do watch this tutorial for the best understanding I will provide a link in the description from where you can download this uh, programming so now it's time to compile this program after compiling the program connect Arduino with computer or laptop and then click on the tools manual and check if the right board is selected and then check the COM port my Arduino is installed on COM5 then click on the upload button and wait for a few seconds